but we can do some overtime if you're int if you're willing to talk a little bit. I, I, just, I just have two questions. One is about Wikisite, but the other one about Lydia was um, you brought up something that was really interesting about you hope that it's not just Wikidata as the central database of 99 going on 999 million <laughs> items, right? It's like you hope that there's a federation of these databases. And that's really interesting you say that because the, the, the criticism Wikidata still has in the museum and libraries world, which I work in uh, right now, is that they, not only say they, you can't say they, but there's a significant portion of kind of linked open data old timers that kind of look at Wikidata saying, you're doing it wrong. If you have 99 million items, th that's not the way to do things, right? It's like, you're, you shouldn't be centralizing stuff. And in many ways, we, we kind of agree with that, right? It's like, yeah. you're right. We shouldn't be ingesting like a big yes. black hole, everything. We should be federating and linking. And, and if, if it was a perfect world, right? If Sparkle Federated Query worked really well and fast, but we know it doesn't, right? So I'm wondering what your thoughts are, Lydia, on like, what, what, what would you say, I want to say, but react to, you know, kind of these linked open data peers to say, look at that, a cute project, but you're kind of going in the wrong direction. You're centralizing stuff and we should be doing federated uh, databases instead. Right. I would agree. Um, we, <laughs> um, it is not my intention to, to centralize things in Wikidata. Actually, quite the opposite. I think Wikidata should have a place as a very central node in a linked open data web where you can find a lot of general purpose information, a lot of general purpose data about anything that you care about. Um, but it shouldn't uh, have to have all of that data. There should be a lot of places that you can easily find through Wikidata, for example, um, where you can find additional data. So for example, um, Wikidata might not necessarily need to have the discography of every musician ever uh, out there. That, that's just not um, Wikidata's place, uh, in my opinion. But um, what you should be able to do is get to, for example, music brains who are amazing at maintaining all of this data and who have uh, a community that really cares about this particular type of data. And you should be able to easily get there and get that additional data um, through Wikidata. Danny, thoughts? No, I fully agree again. Um, the My favorite examples of uh, Wikidata queries is actually to show off um, federated queries in Wikidata. So I, I have this one query where I ask for ATMs belonging to the same banking network as my own bank. Um, displayed on a map uh, within uh, Munich or Zagreb, or actually it works in, in many other cities. And here we are having one Sparkle query that then reaches out to open street, uh, to the OpenStreetMaps um, RDF data and brings the information again, because we don't have every ATM in Wikidata and we surely don't want to have every ATM <laughs> in Wikidata. Um, but uh, OSM is pretty good at that. So, uh, but OSM doesn't have the information about how the banks are connected with each other and which belongs to which banking network and, and similar, but Wikidata is pretty good at that. So it does work for very specific use cases. We have this kind of federated query system actually working across, um, um, across the web in real time answering questions. I wish, and this is exactly what the linked open data folks want, right? I mean, I've been, Lydia and I have been part of the linked open data movement for more than a decade now. Mm -hmm. Andrew, you have also been around in this space. Uh, we know uh, those issues and everyone there knows we fully agree with. And Wikidata is certainly not an attempt at centralizing all of this. It's just an attempt of, um, of providing a specific knowledge base, which is particularly helpful for Wikipedia and beyond. And, and just because of this role being helpful to Wikipedia, it fulfills this kind of central ontological um, role for the whole linked paper, uh, web, uh, for the whole uh, linked, uh, for the whole web of linked data. Um, as was already be, uh, shown before Wikidata even existed, right? Uh, Wikipedia entity, Wikipedia pages have been used for a long time to express and point to the entities they are about. And this helps with connecting those things. This makes 
big data, a real kind of modern Rosetta Stone, connecting thousands and thousands of different catalogs together and um, helping to bring this uh, bring data together. We don't want to bring all this data from those thousands and thousands of uh, catalogs into Wikidata, uh, mostly because we wouldn't scale technically, but also, and much more importantly, we wouldn't scale socially, right? We, we don't have the amount of people to actually check this data if we would bring that all in to actually maintain it. It's already a struggle as it is, given that we have, I don't know, one and a half billion statements. I, I don't know what the current number is. Um, yeah. Yeah, and yeah, so by federating, by relying, we're also federating authority, we're federating trust to those sources. I would always trust the Library of Congress data set more than a Wikidata data set. No matter how much of a Wikipedian I am, I would still do that. Um, I would trust the, the, I don't know, the New Zealand um, statistical service more on the population of their cities than I would trust Wikidata. Um, and I would love to be able to, to, to pull, push this trust to the, uh, to the actual authorities instead of keeping it Wikidata or, and the Wikimedia movement. Yeah. And for me, it's also, so there are two components to why I think I don't want Wikidata to be this one place where the only place where open data happens. And one part is this whole idea of the semantic web and linked open data um, that that is just antithetical to having it all in one place, right? It's it's all about connecting things. Um, but the other side is um, our experience with Wikipedia and how much pressure there is, especially on English Wikipedia and the other large Wikipedias simply because they are this one place where you have to be if you are, for example, a musician um, and you want to be on the web in an authoritative source, then Wikipedia is the place you have to be. And that brings so much pressure on, on these large Wikipedias, especially that don't necessarily have to be there <laughs> and, and that, that we don't have to content with. Yeah, um, and I think, go ahead, sorry, then. If I may add, um, we know of enough research that looks at Wikipedia and sees, like, for example, that papers that are cited in Wikipedia are uh, more cited um, afterwards also in the academic literature. We know that um, judicial concepts and texts that are mentioned in Wikipedia are actually used by judges and uh, by, by attorneys um, more than those that are not mentioned in Wikipedia. So we know that Wikipedia fulfills also a multiplier effect for attention and for truth building in the world. What we haven't looked at yet is if Wikidata, I don't know of any such um, 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 academic work, to look into if Wikidata's connection to different data sets has a similar role. But I would be very surprised if it does not. Um, by linking to the, uh, to the data set of the MoMA, by linking to the data set of um, the uh, German library system, by, by linking to the data uh, set of um, the Library of Congress, I really hope that we are also like connecting, pointing to those things, making them more findable, more accessible, more readily to be put together in this kind of federated web of linked data. And um, that just like Wikipedia isn't the, the one big place where all the knowledge comes from, but it's just the sum of the knowledge and then pointing out the actual knowledge on the web. Wikidata wants to be this, uh, in the same uh, position. We don't want to have all the knowledge. Uh, we don't want to have all the data. We want to point out to the world and just keep the central core data set um, as it is. And, and then hopefully one day this dream that you have uh, described, Andrew, earlier and that um, also Lydia has mentioned, this dream of federated fast querying across the whole web of data uh, will become true in a 
great. It also allows for uh, UX that's actually usable by a lot of people. Yeah, and I think, then you mentioned probably the most important part of what Wikidata serves is even if it should not aspire to contain everything, at least the central ontological role is really important. And you folks, as you said, you've lived in linked open data and you saw what kind of weird, unorganized chaos there was until Wikidata came around. I hate to tell people this, right? Not You know better than I do, but when I talk to folks who say, oh, you shouldn't be doing that Wikidata, we said, well, we gave it like a decade or so for the marketplace to kind of align itself and it didn't happen, right? How how do you get folks who are not that well resourced to, to all agree on an ontological model so that it makes sense to federate these databases? And it didn't work, it didn't happen. So Wikidata kind of came in to fill that void in many ways, right? I agree. I think Wikidata and schema.org, who came pretty much at the same time, really filled this role and um, gave the back then so-called semantic web or web of linked data really two points of crystallization, one for the entities, one for the vocabularies. And together they, well, they helped the web of linked data to become something tremendously bigger than it was before that, right? I mean, today, a third of all websites have um, have semantic uh, web marked up data on them, which is which is huge. Um, I go to to the Apple website and I will find QIDs embedded in it. Um, it's it's amazing. Uh, what, what, and it, this is this was very contra ethical to how the W three C has approached it. Um, and being completely federated and so on. But nevertheless, it, it's, it's the same standards. It's the same technology. It's just, well, we have those two, um, what's the word? Uh, those two catalysts that kind of helped with the, with the spread of linked data by, by having one place for, uh, by, by, by having those two places um, which have growing it. And I think the ontological role of Wikidata is, is really difficult to underestimate in uh, on the web. Yeah. And I think we also managed to open up this sometimes scary semantic web um, ideas that are hard for people to, to wrap their head around. And I think with Wikidata and Wikibase, we, we managed to bring this in a, in a shape and in a form that, that people can understand and see how it all fits together. And how you get from here's a single statement to here's an amazing visualization, here's an amazing application that gives you new insights. Um, I think having made that step uh, is also one of the things I think we should be proud of. Yes, and I think you touched on something before, Denny, in terms of seeing you know, where you find Wikidata, not only on the plane you were, you're writing on Apple's website, um, and this is something that a lot of people bring up is we can kind of measure the impact of Wikipedia in terms of page views, in terms of where we see it show up. How do we measure the impact of Wikidata and linked open data? And that's a big question we always get in the glam world is like, yes, Wikidata is cool. We're pouring resources, but now show me the metrics. Show me where its impact is. And I don't know if I have a great answer for them. What are your What are your answers or what are some things that we could do to, to make to measure this or to even show the impact of Wikidata and linked open data? That is, that is indeed a very hard uh, question that, that we're grappling with, right? Because um, on the one hand, we want Wikidata to be open and usable for anyone without any restrictions um, whatsoever. So there is a ton of use of Wikidata's data out there that we've never heard of and that we might never hear of. Um, and that's okay, even if it sometimes breaks my heart <laughs> to not know all the cool things people are doing with our data. Um, but that's that's the nature of it, right? Um, and I think for me, it is really about the things where we know and where we see that Wikidata is used to build a cool application, an educational application, some sort of service that is aligned with our values. Um, seeing those, that that is, 
for me where um, where I see the the value at the end of the day of what we're doing um, on the one hand. And the other piece of it is seeing our editors, our community be excited about working on Wikidata to make all that possible, right? And, and coming together from all across the world to make that happen. Um, that, yeah, that's really cool. I think, Andrew, your question is really, really difficult. Um, and it, it touches on many things, right? For normal, for normal websites, uh, we ha we have developed quite metrics like how many people have viewed it, and we have also developed ways to monetize it, like where we can show ads, for example, and stuff like this, or banners asking for donations. Um, for for data, for linked data, this is all not really working, right? This, the, the, <clears throat> then. Google released the knowledge graph the first time. I was at the conference, and Peter Norvig um, back then was uh, head of research at Google, and I was asking, okay, so how how do you measure the impact of um, of the knowledge graph? How do you know that what you're showing is good or uh, thing? Because you know, for web results, it's kind of easy. You have the click through rate, right? I mean, you have web results, and if people like the results, they click on it, and everything is great. But here you suddenly, people ask a question, they see the answer in, um, in, the, in, in the search result and they go away. It's, it feels like, oh, well, it feels like a failed search at first moment, right? But in reality, the users are completely happy. And um, he couldn't give me a real satisfying answer back then. I later joined Google and I saw why he didn't, he didn't have a really satisfying answer because he didn't have a real satisfying answer. And over the years, um, Google found some proxy measures and some ways which I mostly cannot talk about, but it, it is a very difficult um, thing to actually measure that. And for the data providers, it's even harder because they even one step removed from that, right? I mean, if the, um, if the SFMOMA provides a data set with the collection and so on, and then, um, a search engine like Bing or Google takes this data in and uses it to answer questions. What kind of feedback loop exists there to the SFMOMA for them to actually understand that it was helpful? Right. And even Google being the middleman in this case has trouble of measuring the, um, the effect of that. Um, and it's the same thing for Wikidata, right? Wikidata doesn't have a really good end user facing interface. Um, we have this huge amount of data and there are many cool things you can do with it, but <laughs> most people lack the technical ability to. So they need some intermediate um, interface to actually um, access this data, either to browse it or to answer sp some specific kind of questions they have or whatever. <clears throat> Which means that Wikidata itself is always at least one step removed from from, from even being of having the chance to understand its impact. And this is a problem that has been of the semantic web of linked data from the very beginning, right. and which hasn't been really recognized by the community for a long time. In the beginning, it was all about the technical capabilities and what uh, what cool things we can do and build, but no one really gave too much thought in the beginning. This has changed since. Um, but gave too much thought in being like, what are the economics? What are the incentives of, the whole, of this whole system? Um, so that for a long time, we were lacking kind of um, answers for those things. And today, we still have very much underdeveloped answers in this area. Um, so, so really, the answers, the metrics of how helpful is it to publish this data set must be found in must be must be recognized that they are kind of very remote informations. If you're publishing your opening times in schema.org on your website, well, then some user of uh, of um, of Apple Maps or Google Maps <coughs> might want that your that your business might be closed when they arrive there. Right? I mean, this is this is a very remote effect, but it is a super helpful effect. Now. How do you pull it into a metric? How do you show that to, um, to, to the deciders that this is actually something helpful? 
I wish I had the answer to that. I think if I had the answer to that, it could uh, it was a pretty big consulting business. Very, very... <laughs> <laughs> so you'd be rich, rich and famous. But you're already rich and famous, so uh, <laughs> yeah. But we, you're right. We probably need we need researchers to think of a new framework for this, right? Like we need almost like a kind of air dose number for like Wikidata's impact downstream or something like that, right? I thought I, if you haven't seen it, I thought I'd show you this. this. is interesting. I don't know if you know, but the Museum of Modern Art for their artists, if you look at their list of artists here, they've outsourced all their bios. If, if they don't have an expert on the artist to write their own bio, you go there and it basically says Wikipedia entry. But what's more interesting is that they not only have the Wikipedia entry, they actually put the Wikidata right there as well, which is really right. interesting because you don't see that that often. So this is one of those things where, you know, at least they're explicitly saying we are putting the Wikidata unique identifier here so you know whether Mike Brown, this artist, is not the same as that Mike Brown, right? So I thought that was quite interesting. And how do you track and measure these types of things where Wikidata shows up? I, I don't think um, we we will be able to, to measure that completely, <laughs> right? We, we can see pieces of the of the big picture. And that's why I think um, showcase applications that really show the value of putting data into Wikidata, um, what you just showed is, is clearly one of them, um, are really, really important. And I think I would always go from these applications showing, hey, here's, for example, the open art browser. It's completely powered by uh, Wikidata. It shows you um, art from all across the world, uh, across different uh, art styles, um, from different artists and so on. And it's a really educational website that um, in a beautiful way shows you data about art and artists, right? And only then in a second step do I talk about, okay, and all of this is built on this knowledge graph called Wikidata that powers all of that and that holds all that data. And there's this community that um, collects and maintains that data and really cares about making applications like that possible. I want to disagree with one point uh, with what Lydia said. Um, she said that all of this should be powered completely by Wikidata and should come from Wikidata. Um, I'm pretty sure she will also agree that it should actually also pull in the data from the actual institutions. It should pull in the data from the MoMAD that Wikidata is pointing to or the other way around and uh, combine this data and display it. Right. Well, so that's a good segue into different viewpoints on what should and shouldn't be on Wikidata, and that is Wikisite. So for a lot of folks who may not know about Wikisite, we've been having a conference, you know, pretty much every year for a while now in terms of, you know, if Wikidata is so useful in inter-wiki or site links, if it's good to centralize things and commons centralizes images, why wouldn't we have a database that centralizes citations and references, which I think by every measure, we're doing it very primitively in Wikipedia by using ref tags and some type of semi-structured markup that we can somehow reuse, but maybe not. So love to hear your views on not necessarily wiki site specifically, but you're welcome to address that. But kind of what, what is the efficacy of a database of references for the Wikimedia movement inside Wikidata, Wikidata as a substrate, which it kind of does already right now, or as a separate project, as a separate wiki base, perhaps. So uh, maybe Lydia first. Right. So <laughs> I think at the core of everything Wikimedia does of all of our project is verifiability and being able to point back to a source. And this integrity of, of that chain and the ability to, to verify everything you read in a Wikipedia article or every data point you find in a Wikidata item is super important, I think. Um, and in that sense, yes. Improving the situation we have right now, absolutely. Um, uh, Dario, one of the um, founders of Wikisite, uh, was talking always about being able to say, okay, show me Wikipedia articles that cite redacted papers, for example. That is a super valuable uh, thing to do, 
right? Because then it's uh, going to make it much easier for all of us to find um, Wikipedia articles, for example, uh, that cite those papers and that need attention and, and need change. Where I think Danny and I disagree a bit <laughs> is how that should happen and where it should happen. Um, right now, um, about 40% of Wikidata is items about uh, scientific papers and uh, everything related to it. And unfortunately, that does not translate into 40% of our editor base who takes care of this for 40% of our content. And I think that's a dangerous imbalance. Um, because if we want this to be such a central piece of infrastructure for um, ensuring the integrity of everything we have in, in Wikimedia projects, then it needs to be <laughs> well maintained and, and fleshed out and everything, right? Um, and I think right now we're, we're not set up for that. Um, and one of the things I think would help is giving this project or this this topic, its own project with all the attention it deserves, um, with all the right infrastructure it needs, all the right um, support around it um, that it needs. Great, and I think that that's kind of surprising to some folks who haven't been following Wikidata for a while. That forty percent of all the entries are, correct me if I'm wrong, generally bot imported academic papers or scientific papers, primarily from a few major efforts to import either either government databases or scientific databases of papers. Right. Great. Dan, you have a different view on this. Slightly. Um, <laughs> but, but really, it's in the details. Uh, so one of the numbers that I learned from, uh, I, I was attending one or two Wikisite conferences. One of the numbers that I learned is that we have already like kind of 30% there of having all papers and, and, and publications um, in the world inside of Wikidata. And you know, 30% is a really big number, and just <laughs> close enough to be complete. So, okay, <laughs> it's 40% of the current I thing. doubt that's 30%. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if it's 20, you know, it's not like, it's not like, it's, it's, it's not, Number, it's not a whole um, uh, number of um, magnitude which we are far away. It's just, you know, a small factor. It's a factor of three, maybe four or five or whatever. Um, and which means that we are kind of in the same space that we can, we data wouldn't have to grow 10x in order to accommodate all those papers and all this. I think it does. I think it does. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I guess this is uh, the, but, um, anyway, anyway, I mean, anyway, Wikidata couldn't even grow 2x right now, I think, before getting the major troubles. So it doesn't really matter if it wouldn't have to grow 10x or not. Um, but this is, a, this is a technical problem with the query service in others. And so I think bringing in your own project always comes with a certain overhead, comes with certain um, costs. Uh, it. You need your own um, administrators, you need your own policies and so on, which might make totally sense for something like Wikisite, which is much more structured and much different. And you might even just like lock down a lot of the items once they're in because <laughs> editing can be much on a slower rate than, for example, Wikidata. But I think all of these things could also happen within Wikidata. Um, so um, again, I wouldn't stop a project on this disagreement. Um, I'm totally, I would be totally happy with having a Wikisite project of its own. I'm also happy with having Wikisite inside of Wikidata. I don't really care as long as it happens one way or the other. Uh, what I really want to see is that we bring in all the citation, citations that the Wikipedias use and possibly even all the citations of the world, which would be even cooler. I, I would really have to have data and, and, in the Wikimedia movement. And one could even dream that maybe having a good structured reference system in either Wikidata or a separate project might be the reason why English Wikipedia finally embraces Wikidata, who knows? Dare to dream. <laughs> so, um, 
<laughs> but we're also talking about scalability. You mentioned scalability. So we could talk a little bit more about that. Right now, there is, I, and correct me if I'm wrong, there is, we're in the, kind of in the process of finding out whether BlazeGraph is the future, and I think we've concluded it's not, of <laughs> uh, Wikidata being the engine that runs it. Lydia, maybe a quick update on what you think is the current state of affairs in 2022 about the scalability of Wikidata. Right. So scalability for me is always about at least two things, right? Uh, technically scaling the project and socially scaling the project. Um, and I worry much, much more about the social side of that than the technical side of that. Um, <laughs> now, they are, of course, very much interconnected. Um, so on the technical side, um, the biggest bottleneck we have is the query service, and um, we need to resolve this. And there's not going to be one solution. There's going to be a lot of uh, different solutions. One big solution is all this work we're putting into the Wikibase ecosystem so that people can have their own specialized uh, knowledge graphs for particular areas that then um, don't go into Wikidata or maybe even move out of Wikidata. Um, the other thing is building other systems that people can use who currently use the query service, but who probably shouldn't. Um, so if we, we are, for example, uh, right now building a REST API for, for Wikidata that makes it very easy to get individual data points um, from Wikidata, because a lot of the queries that go to the query service don't actually need this whole graph that the query service holds and where it's power lies, right? Uh, the, the reason we have the query service is so that you can exploit all these connections that you have in Wikidata, all these links between uh, the different topics. And if you just want data about one individual thing, you don't need that. You, you, know, you can uh, get that much cheaper. But right now, um, we don't make that very easy for you. So people uh, go to the query service and, and get it from there. Um, so that's another angle where we simply need to provide better alternatives and move people to those other uh, services where they don't need that power of the graph. Um, but at the end of the day, one of the core selling points of Wikidata is that it is this graph and that you can exploit these connections and that you can um, run queries on it and that you can gain new insights through those queries. So at the end of the day, we need to support that somehow. And um, yeah, that is causing sleepless nights, let's say, <laughs> not just for me. <laughs> Yeah, Denny, any thoughts on scalability? Although I know you're not in the guts of the operations of Wikidata these days, but um, I thought maybe, you know, as we looked around for alternatives, you know, there aren't a lot of great alternatives that are completely floss, right? A lot of the activity is in the commercial offerings or maybe the commercial folks have hired away the open source folks. But what is your feeling about the state, current state of affairs right now, Denny? Um, yeah, I've been reading the reports that have been created by... Um... What's her name? Sorry, Lydia. Andrea. By Andrea. And I'm anxious about um, the future of the query service and about how much of this we can support. Uh, but other than really, Lydia said everything that I could say much better and much better informed than I could have. So I really don't have more insight to add there. Great. And as you said, Lydia, that we have someone, a consultant working with the community right now on finding those alternatives, right? So. Yeah. Great. Um, the other thing I want to ask about is structured data and comments. We didn't mention that at all in our conversation. We didn't have that much time. But uh, Lydia, I know that, you know, one of the great follow ons of Wikidata is that we are now applying those same concepts and philosophies to yeah. comments. So right. wondering what you had any reflections on where you know, on Wikidata's influence and being able to add this whole new capability to Commons and, and where you think it's going. Right. I think it's super cool um, because Commons is has so much potential and can be so much more than, than it has been and than it is, right? 
and a really important piece of um, improving commons and making it more accessible to more people is is better technology um, and better understanding of what content do we even have on on commons what does this image show what um what kind of coverage do we have simple things like um here's the map of the world there's clearly an area where we don't have pictures let's go and get pictures simple stuff like that is uh, has been really hard right and with structured data that becomes easier that becomes possible and, and i think that's really exciting and and cool um and when we started uh wikidata the world didn't really care about the other wikimedia projects than wikipedia <laughs> um like people knew wikipedia maybe but then that was basically it right and if if people were closer maybe they knew comments and i think one of the cool things that have happened over those 10 years is that oh wait there's not just wikipedia there's also comments there's also wikidata oh there's also wiki voyage cool Visionary, really good project. And I think this lifting up of all of our projects is really cool because they all have, have something to, to contribute to, to our vision, right? Yeah. Danny, any reflections on SDC, Structured Data on Commons, and its impact? I love the project. And I, um, with all the Wikimedia projects, I always think they just need quite a bit of time to get really started and to get to the full impact. Um, same thing with um, structured data and comments. I'm, I'm really looking forward to what can be achieved with that by making the search and comments uh, much more powerful and to allow to integrate results from comments dy dynamically into um, into things. So what we currently have is we have a lot of people using pictures from comments in 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 all kind of publications and websites and all these things. But most of these pictures are like individually selected and so on. Um, what I'm hoping with structured data on comments is that we can dynamically integrate media from comments in um, in dynamic publications and. Um, they can become richer over time. I mean, um, this is the this is one of the beauty of a website, right? That you don't just put a PDF on and you archive it and that's it. But but Rafa, you can have actually a website which keeps changing over time, which keeps up to date, even if you don't do anything there, and uh, it can pull in more information over time. It can pull in fresh media over time. It can update the portrait of a person and and all of these things. And by adding machine readable data, by adding structured data to comments, we are kind of working towards a future where more of our media can be unlocked for more uh, use cases. And I think we're just at the beginning of this route, even though we've been working on this for such a long time, I, I really think we're just at the beginning of this route because putting the data into comments is only one step, actually having use cases then, making use of this data um, is the other side of the metal. And there we haven't um, we haven't yet fully ex um, explored the impact we could have. Yeah, and that, that's always been a, a weak spot of commons is this discoverability, right? We have lots of media, but if we don't know how to get to it, it might as well not be there, right? And I think that is something that's quite powerful. And if folks have never seen it before, you know, I, I'm always unclear about how much people actually do look at the structured data. So if people haven't looked at it, this is a type of thing that you can see, whether it's depiction information or even the copyright status or, uh, you know, things that you can search on there. This gives you, as Denny said, much more precise machine readable search that's there. But I wonder whether this is something that Lydia has run into recently. This is a joke that we were talking about the other day in the glam world, which is... um. Maybe structured data and comments is so cool that it's actually drawing some attention away from Wikidata. Are you feeling any of this? And I don't mean to offend you folks <laughs> working on Wikidata. No, I, I, I strongly believe in more attention on comments 
and especially structured data and commons also resulting in in more attention for Wikidata, right? Because if you want to contribute structured data uh, to commons, you inevitably rely on Wikidata for concepts to define what's on the picture, for example, and so on. So yeah, I'm, I'm not worried about that. <laughs> Yeah, that's somewhat of an unfair image because you're not going to use either or. They they work in concert. You can't do SDC without Wikidata, certainly. But I thought that was interesting because for the last year, we've seen a lot of Glam folks really work deeply with SDC. I wouldn't say to the neglect of Wikidata, but that there's a lot of conversation on SDC, and that's yeah. kind of uh, taken over a lot of the forums that we've talked to. Yeah. Right. That's a part of the federated system, right? Um, right? If you're working on one part of the federated system, you're not neglecting the others. You're still enriching the um, the ecosystem as a whole. Yeah, and also it reflects Wikidata's character as a project that supports others, right? Um, Wikidata is there to support the other Wikimedia projects and the rest of the world that needs structured data. Um, so that that is a beautiful example of that. Right. Right. Great. Well, thanks so much for the, the extended conversation. I want to make sure we have the opportunity for you to make any calls or call to attention to anything that you're working on that uh, you'd like the community to know about. Certainly, Denny working full time on abstract Wikipedia is is one of the most important things that, that we could be highlighting right now. But any other things the community should know about right now in 2022? So many things. <laughs> 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 but definitely uh, join us in building out the lexicographical data part of Wikidata, among other things, to support abstract Wikipedia um, and help us keep the data quality of Wikidata high and, and building it out. Yeah, I, I like that a lot of the meetups you've had for the last year are data quality. And you've yes. f focused on that, not like add more, but make what's there more useful and better, which I think is a great yeah. initiative. How about you, Denny? Um, so join us at the AppSec Wikipedia Wiki Functions session on Sunday. Um, there we're going to talk about, well, Wiki Functions and AppSec Wikipedia. Um, and besides that, only recently uh, the great folks at Wikidata have switched on the ability for the dictionaries, I think for all of the dictionaries, to use the lexicographical data inside of Wikidata inside the dictionary. So and this is one of the reasons why I expect within the next 12 or 24 months, actually, in a pretty short term, that we're going to see a lot of experimentation happening on the Victionaries um, and see if there, what kind of spaces in the Victionaries can particularly be well supported by this kind of setup of having um, um, lexicographical data available to the Victionaries and what that can mean. I. I'm very curious to see how this is going to be developed. And uh, this is a big opportunity that is open right now. And that's why I want to invite all the Victionarians out there to, to join us and explore it. <laughs> You're muted, Andrew. Oh, sorry. Uh, thanks so much. And we look forward to talking more Wikidata at Wikimania. And Lydia, I think most of the technical sessions are aligned with the hackathon, is that right? Yes, do join us at the hackathon. Um, there's gonna be uh, cool Wikidata stuff. Great. All right, thank you and have a great Wikimania. Thank you so thank much. You so much. <laughs> Bye.